At this point, we've spent 12 hours covering the LA Auto Show today, so now it's time to talk about the cars that you really should be taking a look at if you're headed to the LA Auto Show, or really if you're headed to any auto show this car season. Obviously, the first and most important vehicle we need to talk about is this vehicle right here, the Ford Mustang Mach-E. We're told not to call this a mache, by the way. I've been nicknaming that, so if I accidentally say that in this video, it's because I've been calling that this all this week. Uh, but seriously, this is probably the most important launch of the LA Auto Show. This is a very, very direct competitor to the Tesla Model Y, and it's the first direct competitor in the mainstream segment. This is going to be less expensive than the comparable Tesla, but give us equal performance. Absolutely incredible if you buy the Mustang Mach-E GT, which is the very top-end version, and absolutely excellent performance in the rest of the lineup for a very reasonable price, and it's still going to qualify for its full $7,500 federal tax credit. That's exactly why I've already put a deposit down on this so we can have another long-term test vehicle sometime in 2020. Hopefully we'll be getting our hands on it before the end of the summer, but we don't exactly know when it's going to go on sale. We do know, however, that you can put a deposit on it right now. The next thing I suggest you do is stop by the Toyota booth and take a look at the all-new Toyota RAV4 Prime. We expect that to go on sale before the Mustang Mach-E, and it's really an odd twist for Toyota, because the Toyota brand itself has never had a performance-oriented hybrid before. We have seen some performance-oriented hybrids out of the Lexus brand, but this is interesting because it's giving us 302 horsepower in a compact crossover that's likely going to be decently under $40,000 and still qualify for a federal tax credit. So if you're looking for one of the best performing compact crossovers in America, that's going to be an excellent option. It's also going to give you an all electric range of nearly 40 miles. Now we don't know all the details of that just yet, but we should be hearing more soon because it's going to go on sale in mid 2020 at least. After that, you should definitely stop by the Chevy booth and the Buick booth both because we will be getting new subcompact crossovers from both of those brands. The Trailblazer is coming back for Chevy, and we have a slightly bigger Encore in the Buick lineup. Now, they're not twinsies, but they are very, very closely related. They share the same engines. The Trailblazer is a little bit larger than the Buick Encore, but both are very attractive and very well-priced subcompact crossovers. The Trailblazer will start under $20,000, we're told. Next stop on your trip would be the Mazda booth because the CX-30 has been announced for America. We are finally seeing the American version basically the same as the European version, just adapted for our country. Now, unfortunately, we don't see their new spark-controlled compression ignition gasoline engine in the CX-30 just yet. Hopefully, that will come at some later date. But it is still a decent deal. It's a little bit more expensive than something like the Trailblazer or, of course, the new Kia Stellos, which is next on our list, but the Mazda has a much more premium feel. Next up is the Kia Seltos. I've been calling it the Stellos all day long. Sorry for confusing those two names together, but that is their all new subcompact crossover. Subcompact crossovers are a big deal for 2020, and we're seeing a wide variety of them. You'll also find the Hyundai Venue over at the Hyundai booth. Oddly enough, that is not related to the Kia Seltos over at the Kia booth. Who knows why that is? If you head over to the Volkswagen booth, there you'll find the Atlas Cross Sport. That is the two-row, four-door version of the Atlas. The Atlas is, of course, a three-row crossover, but Volkswagen has shrunk it just a hair to give us one of the biggest two-row crossovers available in America. So if you're looking for something comfy, with a lot more room on the inside, and a pretty decent deal with a long warranty, that's where the Atlas is going to be for you. Thanks for checking out our coverage here at the 2019 LA Auto Show. Be sure and hit that subscribe button down there if you haven't already done so, because we will have full and complete reviews of most of the vehicles that we've covered here at the LA Auto Show. I'll see you all next week.